everyone. This is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I have a, just a quick little Disney mini album I want to share with you. Um, it's uh, chipboard covers and chipboard back. I bound it with my bind it all. Actually, it was my niece's bind it all. Thank you, Jackie. And on the spine, I just have three little ribbons here: the black and the red and the gold. The uh, red and the black are Bow Bunny double dot ribbons, and then the gold is just some I had in my stash. I cut out the word Disney on my um, Mickey font, either Mickey and Friends or Mickey font. I use both of those cartridges um, for the front label, and I put it up some foam tape. I have a little uh, Mickey tag with a little ticket background. It's real simple. The paper that I use is from Creative Imaginations. It's the 6x6 Disney paper pack. I also use some solid red cardstock, solid black cardstock, and some black and white polka dot and black and red polka dot papers, and those were all individual sheets that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. So you open it up um, on the inside cover. I have a little pocket here. I have some of the Queen and Company washi tape in the Disney print, which I thought was darling, on the bottom of my pocket. And I have a little photo mat here. I have the polka dot on the back. And again, a Disney's little uh, Mickey ears there. So that's the inside cover. It's just, it's kind of plain, but hello, who doesn't love Disney? It's just the cutest color combination. So on the first page, I have uh, cut out a Mickey, and I used the Mickey font for this particular um, die cut. And I have a Mickey right here, and then inside is a pocket here. And um, all of my uh, tags, my photo mats, were all cut with um, the Mickey and Friends. No, Mickey font cartridge, and there's actually a little Mickey tag, and I used my Gypsy to make it the size that I needed to fit in my pockets. And then on the back, I have some of the design paper. So they're solid on one side and design paper on the bottom. And then this actually flips open, and you have a place for a photo here. And I just added some little design paper, and I did leave that open right here, so you can stick the photo underneath there. And then there's also a place for a photo mat here. And again, I have a little photo corner that I put up on some foam dots, and you can slide the photo under there. So that's the first page. I have um, five pages in this. You flip it over, and on the back of the page, again, I have a place for a smaller wallet photo here and another pocket on the back. And this is actually a larger photo mat. So you can put a pretty good size photo on these. So I tried to stay consistent with my um, with my papers as far as the pages. They're um, the black and red and the black and white polka dot paper. And then the design papers are on, all on the inside. On the second page, I have a mini mini cutout right here. And again, I use the Mickey font. I cut the word mini on uh, with my Cricut. And here's the tag for this one. The pages are all made out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And inside, this is I just cut this off of the design paper. This is Goofy Grins. I have a photo mat here. And then a photo mat here. This is family. And that was cut from the design paper. And then you flip it over. And on the back, again, there's another pocket here. Small wallet photo can go here. And this is the larger of the two photo mats. For all those fabulous Disney photos. And on the next page, I have Pluto. I thought he was darling. Um, again, I cut that out with my Cricut. And the word Pluto right here. And here's the photo mat for this one. I think the photo mats are like three and a half by four and a half on that one. I'm not sure. And then these are just plain. I just left a place for a photo here and a photo here. And again, you flip it over. And the wallet photo can go here, and then inside here is the large photo mat. Love this paper, it's so cute. And on this page I have um, Goofy, and I cut the word Goofy out on, this is a Mickey and Friends cartridge for the word Goofy. And this was Mickey font. And the pocket inside, uh, the tag inside here, again, design paper on one side, it's solid cardstock on the other. And the page flips open, and you have a photo here, and a photo here. And then on the back, again, um, a small wallet photo can go here, and this is the, large of the larger of the photo mats. I love the one with the camera, it's a strike a pose, I thought that was darling. 
And on the last page, um, I just cut the word Mickey, Mickey, Mickey out and just put that on there in the three colors that I used. I thought that was cute. I didn't cut a picture of Donald, but because I didn't want any glue in here. I know, silly, huh? There you go, and I have a little photo mat there and there. And you flip it open, and there's a place for a photo here. And again, a photo here. And then you flip it over. And again, a small wallet photo could go here. And this is the larger of the photo mats in here. Little firework paper, Starling. And then on the inside back cover, um, I cut the large Mickey hand out. And then I cut the ticket here. And this is just a strip. This is Magic Moments fun. And um, I went ahead and just mounted it on some black cardstock. And this actually here is actually a pocket, so you can put some little mementos or ticket stubs. I thought would be darling in there. I added some um, satin ribbon and some little buttons that I put some uh, gold-colored twine from the twinery inside. And then there is the back. And again, I put a string of the washi tape on the back with the black and white photos, uh, polka dot paper right here. So that's my little Disney mini album. I hope you like it. I think it turned out really cute. Like I said, who doesn't love the Disney colors? They're so fabulous. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.